Welcome back everyone to the complete pine leaf. Last time we encountered Nona and now it's time to find out what Horn thinks about this. You must think me a fool. You are kind not to say so. This is not how I imagined this day, pine leaf. I thought Nona would come back into my life and all would be as I wished it to be. But this is not what I wanted. I'm more confused now than ever. This is not how love works in the songs, Pine Leaf. It feels as if the unnatural winter that grips this land has cooled Nona's heart as well. Hmm. Probably has cooled all this food that he's carrying in on top of that. Uh, I suppose we take the vitality plus agility food. Nona said she shelters in a cave, but we must not go there immediately. Yes, I do not need to ask Corridan to know that a quick reunion so soon after this first meeting would spell disaster. Hmm. Horn puts his hands on his temple, but he cannot mask his weariness in his face. All that has happened to us in Wildmore is in a muddle pine leaf. Only this encounter with Nona has all any clarity in my memory. How can such a pain of the heart fill me with both delight and sadness? Ah, <sighs> oh well. What do you say, Corridan? We must do what we can in the witch shaws. That will help everyone. Horn may be at the loss, but I know what must be done. We must do what we can for the white to about the white hand's presence in the witch shaws. This will aid Nona. It will aid us, and it will aid any of the people of Dunfast that may still be alive. It will even aid Horn. He needs to keep himself busy, or he will dwell upon losing Nona for a second time. He may dwell on it anyway, but if we can channel that energy to a good purpose, there may have been some benefit in seeing her again this early. Corden idly toys with the string of the bow for a moment and then speaks up again. Those root vegetables Nona mentioned, the ones that grow at the bases of trees, I think you should collect some of them. If you see any, it will be just, it's just a thought, but it may save us some time tomorrow if we collect them today. All right, I guess I could go and collect some root vegetables. Now, let's see what... Gutenberg has to say, yes, I came directly here. I did not stop to speak to an, to an elf and two people along, along the way or anything like that. I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. Did you find anything noteworthy? Uh, tell me everything, but I have news for you as well. Dunfast is empty. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed it was a bit on the empty side. Well, there's Bingo Boffin there, but I don't think he counts. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Here we are, and here's Dunfast. But where is everyone? Let us have a look around. I can see no sign of, well, anything. Bingo's hiding well, I guess. All right, that's empty. The quiet here is oppressive, as if not a breath stirs here for leagues. Well, except for two hobbits, I guess. Hello there, Bingo. I see no sign of him here. I do not think he came to this place. No, I have a feeling that if he came to this place, we'd notice it, seeing how there's nobody else around here. All right, well, while Bingo ponders that, let's see if we can find anything else of interest. I wonder what's in here. Apparently nothing. Well, this home is colder and draftier than the others. I mean, I haven't even been in the others. Boy, I am really predicting things. Well, I hope it's colder and draftier than the others. Well, this seems to be a little bit warmer and a lot less drafty. But the barn is empty. Even the horses are gone. Hmm. Ooh, here's something of interest. Crumpled clothing. It is clear that supplies were gathered before this shelter was abandoned. 
which means the people had the ability to gather supplies. There's a rather small home, but the occupants of the shelter left no trace of their whereabouts. Hmm. This is the final home at the town center, and a spilled drink. A mess was left here, as if belongings were hastily gathered. Now for the home in the back, which has a broken lock. The lock has been broken right off this door, as if entry were forced. Hmm. Yet what's inside? Apparently a violent scuffle broke out in this home. Well, there was some violence, but only here. This is the last home in the village. Hmm, a satchel. The satchel has been abandoned in the middle of the floor. Well, I think I could have figured that out. It appears that everyone quickly packed up their belongings and left the place. So, there was a scuffle in one of the houses. I'm afraid of what is happening to these lands. So there's no sign of the enemy in this town, but something scared these people off. I would like to know more. Well, I think so. That'd be a good idea. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I suspect that Nurzim and his forces were behind this, but I don't think he's still here, for the weather holds steady. Dunfast has no thane, no lords, no nobles. No great warriors to draw the enemy. Yet something happened here. Our search for the people has been in vain thus far, but perhaps we can learn more of what happened to them. All right, I suppose I could search the outskirts then and see if I could find anything around here. Hmm. Since that unfriendly eyes watch you from nearby, hidden out of sight, find out what watches you from the trees. Well, so something may be watching us from the trees. I'm taking that it's not Nona then. And we also have this mill up here. It's not doing much at the moment, which I guess makes sense, considering the current troubles. Anything up here? Nope, just a frozen mill. Hold up, there seems to be a goblin here. Oh ho! I thought I noticed somebody sneaking around. We'll have to deal with that. What are they up to? Ha! Well, we didn't start screaming quickly enough. Obviously, Nirzim has been around at some point. Because we have the spire here. And this is usually a sign that Nirzim's been around here somewhere. Ooh, then the fact that it is chilly. Much chilly. Let's see if we can find any other... S oh, a root vegetable. Yeah. We could use some of those. And is that another root vegetable? Good. The question is whether or not... They're good enough on I thought I saw... Oh, ho! I thought I spied someone around here. Yes, I spy with my little eye something that belo that begins with G. Yes. Oh, this seems to be another sign of Nurzum. Broken trees. Nurzum looks to have pulled the strong old trees by the roots for no other reason than but the love of chaos. There's that, or he wanted it as a club. Hmm. Oh, a boulder. Well, at least there isn't a 
dead rider next to it, nursed him through great boulders as a child would toss a ball. Hmm, maybe he wanted to play a game? Let's play catch! Hmm, a little house outside of the village, near a pond, perhaps a fisherman or something like that? Let's go and find out. I found signs that Nurzum has been in the area. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Nurzum takes delight in chaos and despair. He came here not to hunt these people, but to terrify them. He snapped trees and crushed stone and laughed at the helpless people of Dunfast when they fled. At least, I hope that's how it happened. I believe they are alive somewhere. Well, that we'll hope would be good news. These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. I will tell you what I think. The people of Dunfast saw Nurzum's violence and felt the cold outside of town, and they ran, probably into the woods. We should find them at once. It's likely that they need our help, for it seems that they did not have enough time to prepare. Let us both begin searching. If you see any signs of them, give a whistle and I'll join you. All right, I shall look for them. Hmm, I better deliver these root vegetables first. Here you go. I think Horn is feeling better. Nothing cures an aching heart like hard work. I'm glad we were able to do some good here in the witch house. I think Horn's feeling better, too. Hmm. Uh, speak with Horn and see if I'm right about him feeling better. I know what we need to do. Yeah? Yes, of course. We need to go to the cave of which Nona spoke and s help her provide for the refugees she mentioned. Uh, first, we should gather the root vegetables that she needs. Uh, do you remember? Uh, she said that... What? Well, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, uh, oh. Ha 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 wonderful, Pine Leaf. You remain two or three steps ahead of this humble minstrel, and I have no excuse but the foggy shroud of love to explain my predictability. You have my thanks, my thoughtful warden, as you always have done. All right. Nona told us the survivors in her care came from the city of Beer Tor. Yes, according to Gleowina's map, Beer Tor is north of here along the road, amid the high knolls of Wildermore. My master has also expressed a desire to see that city. I believe he has the kernel of a song in his heart, and desires to see what has befallen the Beer Tor in order to make that kernel set forth its shoots. If we find orcs there, as we certainly must, we must slay them. If Nona's heart beats for the people under her care, so too does mine, Pine Leaf. Well, how about that? Before I can investigate what happened to Beer Tour, I think I need to find out what happened to the people of Dunfast. First, it looks like there is another encounter on this map. This time... The ox and the dragon. Meanwhile, Rodinir of the Dunedain brings tidings of Lou Brennan's betrayal to the Ukluth in Enidwyth. Ah, yes, the Ukluth in Enidwyth. The title, the ox and the dragon, sounds more like an Aesop's fable, but all right. Another day of our journey nears its end, Radonir. Let us see if the Ukluth, the Ox Clan, will consent to stabling us for the night. We have tidings from the south to give to Glen Brennan as well. Do you remember how highly he spoke of Lou Brennan and the Falcon Clan? The news that his southern neighbors have thrown in with Saruman will not please him. Well, I would hope it doesn't please him. I will see to the horses while you meet with the Brennan. And Radonir, try not to jest. <laughs> Me! <laughs> you return after mere days, Ranger. Where's the rest of your company? 
Oh, that's a very long story. Uh, let's go and speak to Glenn Brennan and see what he has to say. Let's just hope he doesn't do the same thing to us that Lou Brennan did. Because, well, you know, that was a bit of a trouble. All right, uh, there's the Brennan up right over there. Right in here, wanderer from afar. You return to uh, Lanu. But without the rest of your company? Well, we do have Saradin out at the front, tending to the horses. Glenn Brennan's open face grows cloudly and troubled as you speak of the great company's betrayal by Lou Brennan and the Falcon Clan. Alas for your fallen, and for the hopes of my people, Radanir. If Lou Brennan has succumbed to the whispered promises of Saruman, how can we hope to persevere against him? Glenn Brennan snorts. Lou was not as strong as I believed, Radanir. That must be the truth. His weakness, buried deeply, has emerged and betrayed us all. Do you remember Amirin, the Falcon Clan messenger, the brave brave friend. His leg injury is nearly healed, and he was soon to return to Tormuva. Find him down the hill away, and tell him of his people's treachery. Watch him closely. If he knew the heart of his Brennan was rotted, he may be made to pay for his deceit. Well then, let's go and find Aniran. Hello there, Aniran. How are you doing? The rangers have returned? What can you tell me of my home? Did you not travel toward Tormuva and Talmethedris? What? What of my family? Do you have any news of them? My beloved is named Wenda, and she's no warrior. She in danger. And my mother, Saren, is aged and would not know to steal her tongue. If she were put in a precarious position... What can you tell me of my family, Ranger? Speak! What's that noise? Something's happened. Ranger, at the gate! Follow me! Now well, then, let's see what... Oh! That way, all right. Oops! Turned the wrong way. All right, but... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Drygluth warriors. Not now, Ranger. There are rude ones outside the gate that need a lesson in manners. Mm -hmm. A lesson in manners. You're not welcome here, worm spawn. What brings you crawling to Lanuk on your bellies? I speak for the Dragon Clan. Any of the Ukluth who lay down their weapons will be spared. All others will be slain. Dunladings cannot fight Dunladings. This evil cannot be born. You have the look of a falcon on you, but you sound uh, like a sweeping woman. The dragon and falcon are allies. Help me a slay these oxen, and you will share in his treasure. The man says that the Falcon Clan and the Dragon Clan are now allies. If that's true, then my decision is made easy. In truth, no decision at all. Uh, apparently, he doesn't like the Dragon Clan. <laughs> yeah, definitely doesn't like it. A hairpin? <laughs> A hairpin maneuver, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll kill her with a hairpin. And we might as well do that. See, Elowitz gave you this hairpin to Radinir as a token of her affection. This is both decorative and very, very sharp. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Well, I didn't expect to get two at a time. Ah. There you go. There. That's wanted. There you go. A little hairpin. Bit of a hairpin turn there. there. 
And... Oh, who's left? Oh, one more raider. Well... Oh! One last one. Hmm. Well, Suflik seems to be the last one standing. A man must follow the voice of his heart and know true goodness, and I have done so. Ranger, go and protect the Brenin. Oh, yes, we do need to protect the Brenin. Let's see, that'll be this way? Oh, I see a ring up here. Well, it seems to be... A corpse of the worm of the Dragluth. And a new Cluth villager. Hmm. The Dragon Clan is not alone, Radonir. They brought the worms they worship down from the mountains with them. And they are loose in the village. Help my people drive them away! Alright. Let's go and drive away these worms. It brought worms. Hmm. This worm hisses at the trapped victims and lumbers for its meal. You have to get its attention. Over here, worm! Over here! Let me get a look at your ugly visage of yours and see if I can work any improvement. As the worm closes for battle, you wonder if you could have fashioned a better battle cry. <laughs> They're just not as good. That's what I gotta say about that. Uh, that's right, he is the, supposed to be the Joker of the Rangers, right? Can I come up with a better line here? The worm has not noticed your approach, and though it pains you to attack unaccompanied by a shout born of your sharp wit, you should do so anyway. There will be time enough, and the worms enough in Lanuk for you to think of something clever in the meantime. All right. There you go. How about that? And... See, let's get another bow and some pointed slots for my wife, and there you go. Curse the Dragon Clan! And finally, let's go into the last of these. The worm snaps its fangs together as it menaces its prey. Oh, what is this horrible stench? Is that you, worm? It is! It's a wonder your creatures are even able to breed! <laughs> oh boy, I got that attention that time. Well, I think sometimes I wish that they couldn't breathe. <laughs> that, that way they wouldn't smell themselves, right? There you go! It looks like you're busy, Sayerden. I think that's all of them, Bradenir. And did I hear you shouting something about the worm smelling foul? It sounded like you, my friend. <laughs> well, all the fighting started. And the horses bolted and the wagons rolled down the hill. You should help me find the horses and tether them once again to the wagon. And then I think you should take the other horse and return to Halbarad. He raises his hand to steal your protest. I can drive the wagon north by myself. You are more of use in a fight than I am. And the Falcon Clan and the Dragon Clan have joined together. As it seems they have, Halbred will have need of strong fighters. You may continue to the north with me if you desire, but I think you should return to Halbred and tell him what's happened here. This should be goodbye, my friend. For now. For now. With that story over, we now need to go and find the survivors from Dunfast. Are there any? We have to find that out in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.